Hello everyone, and welcome to the ultimate guide for getting started in Grounded. In this video, we'll walk you through everything you need to know to survive and thrive in this incredible backyard adventure. From basic survival tips to advanced strategies, I've got you covered. Now, let's dive in and explore this creepy yet bug-infested yard. It'll be like living Honey, I Shrunk the Kids, and if that movie doesn't ring a bell, well, that's from the 80s, then picture the 2006 animated movie, The Ant Bully. Alright. And with that, just so you know, the gameplay in the background is strictly just the trailers to remain as spoiler-free as possible here. Uh, so yeah, section one, getting started in Grounded. The game is going to begin with a mysterious news report about four missing teenagers. Essentially, you get to choose from each of these available characters, and they all offer their own personality. Now, there are no gameplay differences between the characters, so choose strictly based on your preference. You may play solo or in a team with up to four friends in multiplayer mode, meaning all four of you will actually be sharing the same yard. You're going to want to prioritize staying hydrated and fed while collecting water droplets and mushrooms early on. You're also going to want to craft a water canteen early on for portable hydration. You will want to avoid drinking dirty water to prevent health loss. Alright, and lastly here you want to craft your gears, tools, and weapons to defend yourself. All right, so moving on here, let's talk about crafting and base building. You're gonna to wanna to locate landmarks like your juice boxes or your crafting resource locations and make note of all of these locations um, for both crafting, base building, and recipes. You'll constantly be revisiting the location. I won't give you the name to again remain spoiler free, but there's a specific location where you will constantly want to return to to turn in your recipes to learn and build new things. Uh, you will want to build your base strategically to avoid both dangerous predators, for example, on the ground at night can be a dangerous area, and also near these landmarks, so you don't have to venture as far out to be able to obtain the materials that you need to craft the essential items that you're going to need. Essential items such as a workbench, which is again how you'll do further crafting, and a gas mask, which is what you will use to explore more dangerous areas. You will also want to upgrade your weapon and your armors for better protection, and you will be able to do this by actually harvesting and farming resources. And the more you harvest and the more you farm, the more, it's not necessarily experience, but the more points you will get, which you will then need to use later on to be able to upgrade your stuff. Also, a big key point here, if you want to craft, the best way to be able to craft is be able to learn your recipes, and the best way to learn your recipes is to explore to find those recipes and the resources to make them. All right, moving on to the next topic here, advanced strategies. So you're going to want to experiment with mutations for your buffs. Um, each of these mutations will come with buffs and some side effects, but every uh, teenager will have the ability to use these mutations, so definitely play around with them and uh, understand that they are situational. Change them based on the situation that you're in or what it is that you're trying to accomplish. Build multiple chests if you need to just drop a bunch of items off and then continue your exploration. Also, prioritize crafting a gas mask for exploration in the hazardous areas. I know I previously mentioned that, but there will be certain areas that are kind of capped or locked until you progress uh, within the story to unlock those additional upgrades. So ensure you're constantly not just doing side quests and crafting, but look to progress the story enough to be able to unlock those upgrades so you're not gated out of that progression. You will unlock a zipline recipe for tri uh, efficient travel across the yard later on, and that is going to be a pivotal moment for exploration since you are no longer going to be walking everywhere. So definitely take advantage of that and use it uh, carefully and tactfully in regards to the locations you choose to place it. And let's talk about exploration. Avoid spiders, ants, and the ladybugs. They're all pretty difficult early on. Uh, the spiders just do immense amount of damage. Ants, if you try to kill them, they're actually not all that hard. But if you kill one of the weaker ones, just know that later on, literally in the middle of the day or the night, you could walk out of your base and you might face an army of ants that are upgraded with superior shells. That'll just make quick work of you. So, yeah, they work as a team. So just because he's alone, it uh, doesn't necessarily mean it's an easy kill. So just be careful with that. Uh, also ensure that you mainly explore early on during the daylight hours and stick close to the location where you're going to want to build your blueprints, as that's probably going to be one of these safer zones early on. Also, when you're looking for resources, you're small, but look up. There is going to be stuff in the trees and hidden locations. That's all we're going to say. Just understand that you can climb or build up to those places. So keep an eye out for that stuff as well. Now, when it comes to marking locations, you can also deploy trail markers and lighting to navigate in important locations, which I highly recommend you do because it can become quite overwhelming the further and the more you explore. 
And that brings me to the last section here, progression and upgrades. You're going to want to collect your super chips in your Burgal chips. I won't really go into that too much, but essentially there's collectibles. Um, and you're going to collect these to unlock new recipes and perks. So constantly be on the lookout for hidden areas, secret areas, and story progression to be able to further enhance your ability to craft. You, like I said, you will get to upgrade your teenager with active perks. Um, with active perks for various buffs and abilities to ensure you are constantly checking in there as you complete new tasks. Also, focus on constantly improving your base and crafting better equipment. Don't become complacent because as you progress farther and you unlock new things, also understand you could encounter tougher and more difficult enemies. So there you have it. In conclusion, a comprehensive guide to starting your journey in Grounded. Whether you're a solo player or teaming up with friends, these tips and strategies will help you conquer the backyard and uncover its secrets. Happy exploring, everyone, and if today's guide was helpful, then consider leaving a like and subscribing to see more survival games for both guides and playthroughs like Grounded, Ark, and Subnautica in the future.